so this is my zero waste or low waste bathroom tour. Um, I am a student and I live in a rental and I live in a place that doesn't have many zero waste options so this is just like a realistic thing of what I can do right now. We're very plastic conscious and this is our bathroom so this is the entrance. It's right next to the kitchen which I'll also be doing a tour of and you come in and this is basically it. We've got a bath slash shower, toilet and a little um, boiler closet thing which I will show as well. So just to the right you come in and we've got a radiator. So I've just got one towel here. All our towels are second hand, um, either from our parents or they just had stuff that were lying around so they didn't buy any towels. And then as we go down, it's our laundry basket. Uh, unfortunately that isn't second hand, that was an impulse buy when we moved in. It was just something I saw and I was like, oh, that looks nice. Um, I do regret buying that new but hey ho, I'll make sure to keep it nice so that I can sell it to someone else or keep it free. Then we have our sink. Um, so because this is a rental, there's a lot of stuff that we can't control and there would be a lot of things I can't, uh, I would change, like these are always really hard to clean, but we've got a little dish here that I got from a charity shop and loads of soaps that I've just had lying around and, and this is just for washing hands. And here we do have some toothpaste, but we're getting rid of these. We're using these up. I always had loads stocked up. So this is all we have left. I'm so excited to get rid of these. Uh, we're nearly there. And because we're nearly there, I did buy some of these tablets that we're trying out. And if they don't work for us, we'll try something else, but it will be zero waste. And here I've got a little jar of cotton buds. Um, I bought these bamboo ones because they were more eco-friendly than the ones we had before, but I actually want to um, use these up and buy a stainless steel thing. I know you're not supposed to clean your ears, but I can't help it. Um, <laughs> and these are some cotton rounds that I got um, just for removing my makeup, which I don't really use, but just for washing my face. A nail brush that I got from an online zero waste shop and some floss from Geo Organics. I'm pretty sure this isn't the vegan one because I bought it before we went vegan but it's lasting quite a while and I do reuse bits when I can but I tend to have it break a lot so please let me know if you have that as well but I will be trying out a different one when I use that up because I'm not impressed with how it breaks. And then over here, we have my boyfriend's razor. Um, I have a safety razor, which I'll show you in a minute, but he wasn't keen on it. Um, so here's this one, but it's a good quality one, so hopefully that will last him a while. I will try and get him a reusable razor that has more of a normal head when he's finished with this. And then we have this um, toothbrush. Uh, we do use an electric toothbrush. Just uh, I have bamboo ones for when we travel, but an electric toothbrush works best for me and um, this was second hand, this was my parents one that they're not using anymore so I took it from them. Yeah, I just think my dental health is something that I don't want to um, put in second place for, and zero is first, I just think it's much more important to keep my teeth healthier so I feel like that helps than um, then a bamboo toothbrush and same with floss. I was considering getting a water floss machine but I have read that it's not as effective at all and so I use this floss as well. And up here we've got our toothbrush heads uh, which we keep up um, there and these ones I am using up. This is still leftover packets from when my parents had this and I've just bought some charcoal ones that are fully recyclable. And that's our sink and then there we've just got a little hand towel um, that was also second hand. Same with this towel. This towel I use to wipe down the bath whenever we've had a shower um, and that just prevents mold. So our place is nice and clean. And over here um, I made all of these, these are little crochet rounds. We use these birth, um, body scrubs. So we've got one each here and then I use this one to scrub my face with some soap as well and then I also made this soap saver so any bits of tiny soap that we have I put in this and I usually just wash um, my body with this and then this is our bath and shower now up there um, are leftovers this is the last um, body stuff that I have left 
I had so many because people just kept giving them to me and I don't really use them anyway that's why it's taking so long as you can see it's mostly like scrubs and um, like shower gels which I never use I always used soap um, but they're just there to remind me to use them up and then when we use them up we'll never buy them never bought them anyway because they're all presents and um, then on the other side of the bath this is stuff we do use so I bought these little soap saver holders from Etsy um, made sure it was local in the UK and then these are the only products we really need so when we use up all those products up there this is all we're going to use so we've just got our shampoo bar and soap uh, we don't use a conditioning bar just because they tend to be quite a bit more expensive and we both found that we don't really need them in our hair, our hair's fine without it. So this is our shampoo bar, uh, we get the Friendly one, it's called Friendly and it's the only zero waste shampoo bar that we have locally at our health store, um, otherwise I would have to buy them online but this is also one of the cheaper options and it works fine for us so why not. And these are just soaps that we're using, so this one was from Lush that we have left over and this one I got from Etsy supporting local businesses. So that's all our bath, got a little bath mat here that um, was new for my boyfriend but he had it before we even started going out so we're just making use of it. Um, I do want to crochet one when we when this runs out um, but we're just trying to make it work as long as we can. And then down here we've got a basket, our second hand and in here we just keep our essentials. Uh, like a hairbrush which is plastic but I've had this for ages and it works for us and there's no point in binning it so when this does run out of its uses which I don't think it will anytime soon I will be getting a, a zero waste one and then there's just got a nail kit in there and my safety razor so this is my safety razor I did a lot of research I got the Naked Necessities one and I got it mainly because of the handle I um, love nice looking things and um, this one just caught my eye and it's amazing quality it works so well um the company have great customer service as well and uh, yeah i'm really happy with that and uh, and in there i just have a little shaving bar which i got with the razor i would usually just use soap but that's in there anyway and then we move over to the windowsill and here i have my uh waste garden if you could say we don't have a garden or a balcony tried to get one but we couldn't where we live um so this is the best we can do this was on the kitchen window but this um the bathroom gets a lot more light so here we are um everything here is second hand so the little mat that it's on my mum got for me for christmas that was from a charity shop this little tray i got from a charity shop these silver pots, these blue ones, and these green ones I got in little sets at a charity shop. These little Pikachu balls I got from a friend about 10 years ago maybe. So um, from them, so it is second hand, they weren't using it. And these little egg pots. Um, we don't eat eggs because we are vegan, but I, I've kept them because they're very helpful in um, just letting the spring onions um, grow their roots, so that's how I do that. Well, I do think these bowls are new, but they're glass, so that's better. And some of these are in tins as well. And I call this my waste garden because all of this grown, apart from these two plants, are um, just from waste that I had around the garden. These plants I got from where I volunteer, and they were just given to me because they weren't going to be using them. And these, I've got some herbs in here. The herbs came in the packet with the pots from the charity shop as well. So this is still a waste. You can see a little basil coming through. Um, yeah. And we hop over to the left. This bag uh, used to be my mum's, so it's second hand. In here I have my period products. Um, I can do a little video about period products if anyone's interested in that. Um, they're all zero waste period products. And just down here, I have this little spritzer. Uh, I got it for free. Um, and yeah, it's just really nice. And I like little aesthetic things and it just makes me want to water my plants. Um, 
and under here I have some little activity books. These are second hand. I got them because um, I didn't want to buy new ones and I got a massive set of loads of these for quite cheap and I just like having something in the bathroom to do. And I've got some pens that I'm trying to use up. And this little footstool I use, I got in a charity shop. This was such a nice find. I think it was three pounds. And uh, yes, it just helps with bowel movements and puts you in a more natural position for that. <laughs> and we move over to the toilet. Um, toilet paper, unfortunately, we don't have a way of having zero waste toilet paper. So as students, we can't really afford getting the, um, the ones that come in paper. I think it's called Don't Give a Crap. Um, ideally, I would use those and ideally I would use reusable toilet paper, like little sheets of paper, but um, we only, there's only two of us in this apartment and uh, I just wouldn't be able to wash it every other day like people usually do. Um, but I will be trying that when we move into um, a better place next year possibly. And down there I have a toilet brush. This was from a zero waste online store as well. It comes in a little metal container and all of this is compostable which is great we needed one because we didn't have one so I invested in a better one and then I have this little bin which was again unfortunately new um, but yes I will be making good use of that one and that's it for the majority of the bathroom then we move over to the boiler room so I have this hanging over here um, just use it in the winter so it's in here right now and then this is my boiler room boiler closet so i have spare toilet paper over there because we try and buy um bigger packs to save on sometimes there's even recycled plastic packaging on the toilet paper so we always jump and buy those ones and just there I have a little dust cannon brush wooden and metal is new but I made sure to get wooden metal ones so it's um, compostable then we've got the rest of our second hand towels and I've got this little plastic tub here for washing pretty sure this is second hand and then I've got two of these one is being used currently and I have another little rack where you hang it over the radiator that's being used and that's for laundry and they were all in charity shops and they were like 50p each so that was a great find. Um, I had those since last year when we lived in halls and then down here I've got two big tubs of citric acid and sodium bicarbonate. These I use a lot in my cleaning products and to generally clean sodium bicarbonate is so useful when scrubbing kitchen stuff so that's why I got big tubs because where we live there's no bulk stores there's no zero waste alternative to these so I thought might as well buy big tubs since I use a lot of it and save on some plastic waste and then I'll be reusing these tubs when they're done as well down here oh I hate these <laughs> there's so much plastic here but here is my little tub of I want to get rid of you I have one in the kitchen as well of foods that we're not too keen on that we need to get rid of and never ever buy again um, these my parents got for us when we moved in um, it was more like a um, we don't have anything on us but we need to clean the apartment before we move in so for next time I'll make sure I have some kind of cleaning products prepped and ready for me to clean the apartment but some soda crystals all purpose cleaner window cleaner and wipes unfortunately but I am making use of them um, I'm just trying to use them up because there's no point in just spinning them okay and then if we go up here I've got some more little um, activity books that I got in that set and then when they're done I put them in my pile to recycle and then back there I've got some spare plant pots and some compost just because I keep my plants in here so I might as well keep this here and then here I have some cleaning products so I've got vinegar which is the biggest bottle I can buy some oils and essential oils this is a container I put my bicarbonate in here are two spray bottles I got in a charity shop there's some more vinegar and this I had to get plastic free because I just we had mold all over our ceiling in the bathroom uh, the landlords wouldn't do anything about it and there was just no zero waste 
way to get rid of it and our safety came first so I had to invest in some of this but I'm keeping it I'm trying to use it up and then back here I just have some rubber gloves that I got but I'm gonna be making use of these till they're done and then these I love using I have these in the kitchen and I also use these to scrub down surfaces that's from Boobaloo as well that's um, the shop that I buy from online and I have all my cloth wipes there and these compostable kitchen wipes as well as an old plastic toothbrush and an old bamboo toothbrush for little surfaces and then my little laundry box so I have some laundry detergent that isn't um, eco-friendly but it is plastic free it's just in a carton and it's the most affordable thing I can um, go for right now I have bought some soap nuts but they actually came in plastic there's a plastic bang in there which I was very upset about um, but I haven't tried those out yet I will be and then here's a little travel iron because we don't iron much but just in case we do and I got that from a charity shop I have this down wash which I had to get for um, a sleeping bag I have I know that isn't vegan but I wasn't vegan then and I bought this to make sure I can take care of it and that it gets the most out of it as we can and then here's my uh, fabric conditioner I get this from my health store and they actually do refills so that's really great and I also have some zero waste bleach from um, my zero waste shop as well as a zero waste stain remover this works wonders I just rub it on a stain and it comes right off and then I got this Philips bubble remover as well just to make sure our clothes last and then here I've just got some beauty stuff so as you can see there's our bamboo toothbrushes these are all the soaps that I bought zero waste I just took them out of their cardboard packaging because it looks nicer there's our shampoo bars here's the um, ends um, for the electric toothbrush that I bought and in the middle are my safety razor razor blades. Um, I bought a pack of these for about eight pounds and I'm pretty sure it's gonna last me forever because there's loads in there and I only replace them about maybe twice a year. And in here is a little bag of hair stuff. So these little hair colors that I made myself out of old rags. And then here is a little health box. Um, trying to use these up but obviously I don't use these too frequently but then whenever I use them up I'll be looking for um, a zero waste alternative with things like paracetamol and stuff I am learning about herbology and I'm going to be trying to make remedies and with plasters I've had these for years um, but when I've used these up I will be trying to make my own like um, disinfectant and rag sort of solution um, but yeah they're all in cardboard boxes that I already had from packages um, and I'm currently making my own fabric twine to make little baskets for them or if I find one in a charity shop but for now these boxes will do and then if I ever need a specific category I can just put them out um, but yeah that is all in my bathroom and like I said before we aren't completely zero waste but we're, we've been zero waste conscious for over two years now and this is the best that we can do um, yeah let me know if you have any tips on what else we can do to be more zero waste but other than that thank you for watching and I'll see you again later